Hey, what's up, guys? It's Russo and Jordy with Backdoor Fantasy Sports. We got another first look show for you. Jordy and I are back at it, um, <laughs> not splitting shifts tonight, uh, which will be would be nice. Uh, we have a nice big 11 game slate. We're going to be talking about the NBA slate on March 25th, Monday. Um, hoping to start the week off right. Uh, been a, it's been a little hit or miss for me lately, um, but. But yeah, we've got um, we've got four plays for you tonight for first look. Um, so we have an awesome slate tomorrow. Before we get started, though, if you've never tried Prize Picks, use our promo code at the bottom of the screen. They're going to match your first deposit up to one hundred dollars. Uh, you deposit one hundred, you get an extra hundred, so you have two hundred total. Uh, just throw that code in; they'll hook you up with that deal. And um, yeah, so um, these are the plays we're going to be covering. Um, I'm taking Fred Van Fleet and Bradley Beal's assists. Uh, Fred is uh, coming in at seven and a half, Bradley Beal at six and a half. Um, I don't think these are gonna last long, so hopefully they'll stay relevant for a little while, at least until we get the video out. <laughs> but what are you getting into, Jordy? Yeah, um, I switched over and the picture's really super small. But I'm taking uh, Jalen Brown for over 16 and a half, first half PRA, and I'm taking Clint Capella in that same game for over nine and a half rebounds. All right. Well, uh, let's talk about this recap. You want to start with yours since yours was first look? Sure. Um, yeah, so we took uh, Kelly Oubre Jr. for over 13 PRA in the first half. He cashed. He went for 17. Uh, he almost cashed in the first quarter. He had a really good really good game against the Clippers. They gave the Clippers a tough time, man. Um, I took Paul George's first half fantasy score in one lineup, and it screwed me because they locked him and Kawhi down that first half. But... Um, then we also took Brooke Lopez for over the eight and a half PRA. Um, it, it got bumped to nine and a half. I hope you guys still took it. I know I was a little apprehensive in the video about nine and a half, but I had been burned on it a couple times. Sometimes he just gets to nine. It's so weird, but he had 13. So no, no matter what you took it at, I think it even got bumped to 10 later on. He cashed all three of those lines. So well, you got the sweep on that one. All right. Well, yeah. Speaking of Ubre, I know some of you remember like a week or so ago, maybe maybe like two weeks ago. Some of you watch regularly. I was talking about how Ubre is back to his original form. And um, people were some people were a little worried. And I'm not trying to pat myself on the back. I'm just happy to see Ubre getting minutes he deserves because I was so stoked when he was on the Suns and he was just killing it back then. And uh, he's just been kind of bouncing around, you know? So it looks like he's uh, kind of just like into that steady role now and he's taking advantage of it, playing great. So well, he also good got call hit by a car. <laughs> like, oh yeah yeah it's true that that's very true that's a good point you I know there. what that feels like i got hit walmart parking lot by a car when i was walking so that is not fun <laughs> yeah so um good to see Ubre back and killing it and man he looked so good in that game yeah, he uh he had a monster that he had a, a monster block um or was that was that today yeah, but I think I think that that was the game I'm thinking of. He had a so. killer block. I mean, he had 17 um, PRA in the first half, so that's that's a good game already. Yeah, dude's looking really good. All right, um, let's talk about mine. So um, Trace Jackson Davis did not get it done. We took him for 17 and a half PRA. He only made it to 11. Um, you know, Rudy. When I I was honestly, I I, I shouldn't have taken this play. Um, it was just a little too close to call. I was hoping one, and this isn't why I took the play. Um, I was willing to, to, I still liked it either way, but I knew if um, Rudy and or uh, Anthony Edwards were out, it would be just like a free square at 17 and a half. He had a lot of opportunities, but they played really good defense um, as expected, but it was just too much for him to actually get scoring done. He wasn't really uh, able to assist much, which isn't a huge part of his game, but um, you know, he's been getting like two a game the last couple games and it was only a one point bump. So I liked it, but I was talking in the video about how I liked his fantasy score, if they would give it to us. And of course they wouldn't. And he ended up going for um, five blocks and steals. So that would have been an extra 15 points. I think whatever they had that set, maybe it would have cashed. It would have been a lot closer, that's for sure. But he was mostly just a, a defensive monster and uh, didn't get it done on the scoring. And uh, yeah, I think he had like five rebounds or something, but yeah, he didn't cash for us. But uh, Pascal Siakam, my God, what a night he had. 36 points, 11 rebounds, two assists. Um, went for, we took him at 38 and a half fantasy score. He went for 51.2. And um, <clears throat> the the Lakers made me eat my words uh, in the day video. I was talking about, I thought it was ridiculous that they had the Lakers favored in this game uh, by two and a half points. And uh, I said the Lakers wouldn't be able to keep up with uh, 
with the Pacers and uh, the Lakers dropped 150 in regulation. Um, that was the highest scoring over under or the highest scoring game total. Uh, like a trade Suns fan. <laughs> <laughs> no man, I just I, I saw what I saw what they did to uh, to Golden State, the Pacers, and I'm like, I don't picture AD like, but AD had a great game. Like the Lakers played really good, and they didn't have D'Lo. Um, I think they need to start Spencer Dinwiddie even when D'Lo gets back, because Spencer played incredible. But great game, very exciting game. I think it ended up being like 145 to 150 or something. Like it was. It's like a 295 total in regulation. It was crazy, but had a lot of fun with that game. But all right, let's get into these plays. So um, before we get started, we just want to tell you guys about Daily Grind. Uh, they're our official partner. They make really killer uh, DFS tools. And our favorite of all their tools is the DFS Optimizer. And they're giving all of our viewers 25% off when you use code BACKDOOR. You can go to dgfantasy.com or use the link in the description of the video and uh, take full advantage of that. If you uh, wanna get any of those tools in the bundle, they're all great, but we love the DFS Optimizer. And I'll show you here uh, in the video in just a moment uh, once I use it. But all right, so let's start with Fred Van Fleet. Um, as usual, I don't even have, my apologies. Let me pull up this over under real quick. Or I call it the over under. We're going to be going over to DraftKings Sportsbook. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my bad. Um, <clears throat> okay, so uh, here we go. So 221 over under. And, um, you know, the uh, the Rockets are favored by 12. That seems about right. But the Blazers, they're, they're really getting after it. Like, they're playing with a lot of heart. That game, I know that they were missing uh, Jokic, but that game against um, the Nuggets was so exciting. And um, hopefully they can at least just keep this uh, out of blowout territory, but it could turn into that. The Rockets are tough, but I still like Fred to just have his way in the first half and uh, get these assists covered for us. Um, I, I don't think that it'll get so out of hand that Fred won't cover this line. Um, it's heavily juiced and uh, we like him to go over seven and a half assists. Obviously he's done this uh, four out of his last five. We zoom out a little bit, eight out of his last 10. And last time he played them, he went for 10. Um, and uh, the game before that, when he played them, he just missed it by one. So I feel, I, I mean, like this is just one of those plays that is just such early value. I know this won't be at this line tomorrow. Um, Portland is 21st in assists allowed. Fred is one of the best uh, in the game at uh, passing the ball. Um, you know, one of the one of the best uh, um, assisting point guards, if you will. If we uh, take a look at his last five games, so that game against Utah, he really didn't have that that many opportunities either. He went for seven and he had seven opportunities. So that's at least pretty efficient. But other than that, um, his potential assists are pretty high. Uh, he's averaging 15 a game, um, not assists, but potential assists, which is an awesome new category that Outlier offers. Um, but even with that seven potential assist game, he's still averaging 15 because he had that game against uh, Cleveland where he went for uh, 21. Um, speaking of Cleveland, they got waxed by uh, the Heat today. My gosh, that game was close at the half, and then uh, or it was a little bit closer, and then it just got out of hand, and they just uh, it, they ruined so many of my slips today. Thanks, guys. But all right, so um, I am feeling good about this matchup. Obviously, 21st in assists allowed, and I don't think we have any significant injuries. Uh, so Aiden game time decision, Jeremy Grant game time decision, Anthony Simons game time decision. Um, and well, no, J no Jabari Smith tomorrow. Uh, so that, that sucks for the Rockets. Um, but Cam Whitmore still out, Shane Goon still out, Terry Eason still out. And, um, I don't know. I, I just, I, I really like this line. You know, if you're, if you're not feeling good about it, just fade it, but I'm feeling really good about it. If we hop over here to daily grind, it's super juiced. They've got it at a 54.1% odds to hit the over and they have it at a minus 139 on their odds. And every other odds maker is offering it at seven and a half too. So maybe it'll stick around for a little bit, but um, the lowest odds on here are minus 130. So everyone's got it super juiced to go over. I'm just, I can't imagine this is going to stay at seven and a half for too much longer. Um, so we're going to keep rolling here. Moving on to Bradley Beal. Uh, let's take a look at this over under. They got another matchup with the Spurs, which we love to see. Um, hopefully, I mean, like he's still got plenty of minutes, uh, even with them uh, pretty much blown out the Spurs last time. 232 over under, uh, Suns favored by 12 and a half. Seems about right to me based on that last game. Um, 
so yeah i'll be uh i'll be taking multiple plays from this but um i i like bradley to go over six and a half assists here he just played them and he went for 12. uh he's gone for seven and five straight games and um seven of his last ten he's cleared this line of six and a half um so he's only played them the one time and uh yeah he went for 12 so um getting just barely half of that i feel good about that and that's pretty wild he only had uh, 12 uh, potential assists too so he got all of them it's because uh, everybody was was hidden uh, like every, uh, all those Suns players were scoring when they needed to which is nice um, he's averaging 35.2 minutes per game so getting plenty of minutes uh, let's take a look at so yeah he still got even with that blowout he still got 28.4 minutes and went for 12 assists so feeling really good about this play and shockingly it is not juice to go over um, if we go over to daily grind here, they have it heavily favored to go under at 53.2% uh, odds to hit the under. They have it at a minus 133 to go under and everybody's got it juice to go under. So let's take a look here. Are there some injuries on the Spurs side I missed? Oh, Wimbenyama. Okay, so he's questionable for the game. Left ankle sprain. Okay, so go with your gut. Um, He's not confirmed out. He's a game time decision. Obviously, the blowout will be even nastier if he's not a part of the, the team uh, for this matchup. So uh, if you're uncomfortable with it, you know, just just fade it. But I'm going to take it full advantage of this. That's that, that makes sense why they're uh, favoring it uh, to go under and why we're getting it at six and a half when he just went for 12. So I feel good about these two plays. Um, if you guys are interested in checking out this app outlier, uh, they're one of our partners and um, it's a really awesome app. Uh, if you guys want to check it out, you can try it out for free. Just go through the link in the description of the video and you get a seven day free trial. Um, so yeah, killer app, go check it out. All right, Jody, I'm going to pass it over to you now, bro. Sweet. Yeah, man. Um, so before I get into my plays, we just want to quickly tell you guys about Chalkboard. Chalkboard is another one of our sponsors that, um, you know, we both love a lot. It's a, uh, I played a bunch of it today and um, I took way too much Lou Dort. <laughs> that was uh, my the bane of my existence today on a many slips um but yeah they're a lot of fun um you can set your own lines over on chalkboard it's another prop betting platform just like prize picks um but what they'll do is they'll give you a baseline so they'll give you like clink pillows rebounds at nine and a half like i got here and i could bump that up to like ten and a half and eleven and a half i might actually do that tomorrow because i think he's gonna go for more than nine and a half um and they'll give you a higher multiplier on it so you can kind of make it like a demon play um if you guys are familiar with the demon plays in prize picks they basically just boost your multiplier on that uh, on that singular play so you can bump it up or down so i can make it like a goblin too and reduce the payout but make it easier to hit so it's a lot of fun definitely go check them out they'll match your first deposit up to a hundred dollars as well uh, if you use code backdoor at checkout and uh, you can get up to 100x on your payout and bet as low as a dollar so a lot of fun over there um okay let's see here so i got jalen brown's first half pra here um i've got this to go over 16 and a half i love this line um and especially with the injuries here um oops i lost this play on let me get to it real quick uh here we go so he's gone over this line um 15 out of his last 20 games um eight out of his last 10 and four out of his last five he only missed it against milwaukee which makes a lot of sense because milwaukee is very tough right now defensively um I don't know why I didn't think about that when I took Dort today, but um, this is a good matchup for him. 22 in points allowed, giving up 21.6. 10th in rebounds, giving up 7.1. And 21st in assists, giving up 4.4 to the small forward. Um, he's hit this in 6 out of 10 head-to-heads against them. Um, the last one, he went for 20. He had 15 points, 4 assists, and 1 rebound. But he's had some monster games against them. He had tw uh, a 27 first half ERA against them kind of recently. So he's capable, um, obviously, over the last 20 he's been on a special type of heater in the first half so i'm really liking this play a lot he's giving set he's getting 17.4 minutes in the first half sometimes he's playing a full 20 minutes in the first half it just depends how much <clears throat> they need him out there sorry i got like a dry spot in my throat but um i really like this play if you look at the injuries here no drew holiday he's still out and Derek white is a game time decision so that the the drew holiday one is a big big thing for us here because he's going to get a lot more shot attempts but also on the other side of the coin no jalen johnson and no one yeke um which is why i like my next play also no sadiq bay and those guys are all great defenders so um yeah they're probably gonna have i don't know they're probably gonna have um what's his name on tatum uh 
because he's such a great defender. I can't think of his name right now. But um, DeAndre Hunter. They're probably going to have him on Tatum. I don't really know where he plays, but um, yeah. So I like this play for over 16 and a half. No daily grind odds on this one. Um, I actually forgot to pull that up for Clint real quick, but I'll do that in a second. So my next play here is Clint Capella in the same game for over nine and a half rebounds. I love this play. Um, he's been on a pretty good streak with this. He's gone over this 14 out of his last 20 games as well. But with there being no Onyeke and no Jalen Johnson, he's going to get a lot more minutes. Um, they're still going to sub him out, and they're going to go small sometimes. I think this game could it has the possibility to get ugly. But um, I think they'll keep it competitive long enough for him to get this done. He's very capable of getting 10 rebounds very, very quick. Um, we've seen him go for eight in the first half before. So um, I like this play a lot. Um, if we look over at Daily Grind, let's take a look. I haven't even looked at what they have the odds set at. Um, let's see. So they've got this juice to go over at a 52% uh, percent chance and a minus 127. So confirming my uh, thing there. And the head-to-head -head looks very ugly, right? It, he's only hit this two out of nine matchups against them. But with all of the people being out on both sides, like no Drew Holiday, potentially no Derek White, um, but no Jalen Johnson, no Nyeke Okonkwo, and no Sadiq Bey. He's going to have to get more rebounds. So, um, you know, we could see if they will show us what he's done without these guys. Um, no head-to-head. -head, but without these guys, he's hit it two out of two times already without either of them in the game. I think they've missed the last two games here. So the last two games, he's hit this line both times without those guys. So feeling really good about those two plays, and that's the two I'll be rolling. All right, guys. Well, that's the four we got for you for first look. We'll have more tomorrow as well. Before we get out of here, uh, we want to just tell you a little bit more about our Discord server that you should join. We have a lot of fun in here and um, we've been cashing. We've got some crazy savages in here. These guys are betting on spring training baseball <laughs> like, oh and, uh, they're, and they're cashing. So good for them. They're making a little bit of money. He had a, um, uh, I don't even know what this name is. Hextech loss whatever hector loss uh, i don't know that dude i know him he's in here all the time but um he had a close call here though uh he had a dmp and then he had one push but uh, i am excited to uh, start prepping for baseball um we've been going crazy with the college basketball in here mixing and matching with nba so we've been finding ways to win uh, even when our picks aren't uh hitting uh hitting exactly the way we had hoped uh you know it's like you keep you keep like we're in here all day so if our first round of slips don't go through we just keep you know branching out uh on the games that are left uh, on the slate but we have a lot of fun in here the the chat is a lot of fun if you guys want to check it out it's about 50 cents a day you can go through the link in the description of the video and then you just go up to server subscriptions and subscribe and then it'll unlock all the channels for you you can hop in community chat let us know you're new and we'll show you around show you what we do and um kind of how everything works we got a little system to it um so yeah, we've got, um, and we've got like plays that uh, we're already putting out in here. Uh, everyone's been getting after it already um, for tomorrow. So yeah, come check it out, guys. And um, we hope you have fun on this 11 game slate. We got a nice uh, big slate to start the week. So hope you guys had a good weekend and we'll catch you in the next video. Good luck, guys.